So as an engineering lecturer, you know, I have to, be, I have to know what's out in industry. I have to know what my students need to be learning and how they need to evolve. So you have to prepare them for that. So they're going to be the future of engineering. They have to be creative. They have to know all the latest developments, the latest technology. Um, and the most important thing is you have to teach them how to be different and think differently. Like when I went to college, it was all about someone standing at the top of the class and speaking and teaching has just evolved so much. It's all about the students' engagement. It's about them doing activities. It's about like using quizzes in class. It's about, again, the less I speak, the more they learn. The core of it doesn't change, but what might change is the latest um, automation or technology or the latest philosophy. They might have a new way, like for example, Six Sigma is a new way to approach how to improve things in industry. And then you're teaching the students the skills of how to apply those new approaches. I'm a production engineer, which is a process engineer. And what you do is you'd go in and solve problems. Um, like for example, if you worked in a, a factory that made lipsticks and all of a sudden you're making pink lipstick and it comes out green, you have to go in there and find out what's after happening. Is it because there's a new trainee? There's a new product after coming on the line you didn't know about? Um, someone pressed the wrong button and you have to go in and find out what happened and you have to stop it from happening that it won't happen again. I love LIT. I love walking through the doors. I love teaching. It's brilliant. And my students, it's just, I love them. They're, they're great. And every class is different. Um, and it's a privilege to be a teacher. You know, you're passing on your love for engineering to them. And then they're going to use those skills. That's special. Watching the students graduate, all done up. They're not in their track suits, you know, they're all new haircuts, all in their suits. And seeing their parents in the crowd and seeing them so proud, you know, it's really rewarding. Once you become an engineer, you know, you're not stuck in the one position. You could be a mechanical engineer or a production engineer or electrical engineer. And you could work at that for a year or two and next minute you can delve into other types of engineering and head into management. Um, up to setting up your own company, running your own company, management a company, but it opens up the world to you. You can travel. If you're an engineer, you can travel all over the world. Look it up, find out what it is, but don't close yourself off to engineering because there's so many types and there will be one type that will suit you.